Faults in modern manual transmissions are less common than before. Progress in the oils, materials and bearings used is reflected. However, problems with manual transmissions are sometimes observed at mileages of less than 100,000 km. In such cases, the fault lies entirely with the manufacturer. The M32 box belongs to this category. To ordinary people, the designation M32 means little, since it is rarely found in the available technical data. But experts will immediately understand what we are talking about. This is one of the most problematic manual transmissions in the last 20 years. The M32 is widely used by automakers Opel, Fiat, Alfa Romeo and Lancia. The box was combined with both gasoline and diesel engines, since 2004. It can be found in the Opel Astra H and J, Zafira B and C, Corsa D and E, Maca and Meriva B, Fiat Grande Punto and Alfa Romeo Mito. In technical terms, the M32 does not stand out in anything special. This is a six-speed gearbox with three shafts. The design is compact, lightweight and capable of transmitting up to 400 newton meters of torque. Fame was provided to it, first of all, by bearings. The M32 is equipped with tapered roller bearings, the main advantage of which is the ability to transmit significant axial and radial loads. Another advantage is the ability to adjust. At the same time, tapered bearings have their disadvantages. The biggest is the relatively complex installation required to maintain a certain degree of clearance. The problem is solved at the production stage with the help of limiters, adjusting washers. However, it is likely that the gaps were outside the permissible limits during assembly. Bearing wherein the M32 manifests itself in two ways, extraneous sounds occur, or the gear shift lever moves, when adding gas or while accelerating the car. Lever movements are usually noticeable in first and fifth gears. In more advanced cases, the lever moves in other gears. I have good news for you. Now, if you are planning to buy a used car, or learn more about your car, you no longer need to search for the information you need on the internet. We have collected everything in one place for you. On the website carme.pro, here you can find out everything about the car, what brakes and at what mileage, any problems with engines, chassis or gearboxes, which trim levels are better not to mess with and how not to lose money buying a used car. You will learn all this on carme.pro. In reality it looks like this. You release the clutch pedal while starting or after engaging a gear, and at this moment the lever seems to move slightly back, no more than 10 to 20 millimeters. If the lever moves a greater distance, then the bearing problem is at a more advanced stage. While driving, the fault can be recognized when shifting from 6th to 5th and from 4th to 3rd gears. Problems are almost always associated with the upper shaft bearings, which, as practice shows, are the least stable. The bearing rollers, in particular the 6th gear, wear out, as a result of which the shaft warps and the gear shift lever shifts. An additional sign will be a hum, noticeable after exceeding a speed of 40 km per hour and increasing with increasing speed. The M32 can be divided into three generations. The first was produced between 2004 and 2012. The second appeared in mid-2012, although even after this date some models were equipped with a first-generation manual transmission. The third generation went into production in 2017. As you might guess, the first version of the box turned out to be the most problematic. This is where the bearings most often failed. According to available information, most of the problems are associated with cars produced in 2010 to 2012. Until 2010, bearings were supplied by Timken. GM later changed the supplier to FAG and NGBC. The new bearings turned out to be of lower quality than the previous ones. Since 2010, a number of changes have been made to solve the problem and increase bearing life. But the result was never achieved. The main changes occurred with the advent of the second generation box, offered in some models from mid-2012. For example, we changed the transmission oil. 
But the main thing that happened was the replacement of bearings with a diameter of 55 mm with larger ones with a diameter of 62 mm. After this, bearing problems decreased significantly, but they still occurred. In the third generation mechanics, the bearings have been updated again, but it is too early to judge the results, the cars are too young. Problems with bearings are detected after approximately 50,000 kilometers. Unfortunately, Opel does not supply bearings as original spare parts. What happens if the recognized problem is not addressed? Neglect can lead to complete destruction of the box. In any case, the longer you wait, the more expensive the repairs will be.